great vibes you're watching a mouthful Welcome back foodies, you're watching A Mouthful with Dre and we're feeling the light vibes today. Today we're going to check out a new crazy spot that's blowing up social media. Pow! Pancakes, omelets and waffles? But they're really known for their chicken and waffles, a little southern hit with a Bahamian twist. Pow has become the new cool pop-up brunch spots. We love food trucks and we love brunch so Pow has mixed it all in one. And we may check out a few other places. So let's go, let's check it out. So why is an ice cream and not ice cream? Um, because it's made with like a nitrogen. <laughs> ah, cool. So it looks fun. An ice cream instead of ice cream. Why, ice, why have ice cream when you can have an ice cream? Yeah, true, yeah, true, yeah. true. And ice cream is nice. Exactly. <laughs> um, so tell me, why is it called 320? Um, liquid nitrogen freezes at negative 320 degrees. Mm -hmm. So that's increasing the component. So 320, it just worked. 320 yeah. ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. So um, how'd you come up with your flavors? I see we have Bailey's infused chocolate. And then, ooh, look at this, I feel so cool. <laughs> and then um, the margarita that has tequila in it. Right, exactly. I mean, I love, I love alcohol. Uh -huh. <laughs> so and I love ice cream, so I might as well mix those two components. Mm -hmm. So I try to mix my favorite ingredients and come up with flavors that everyone would like. that's been blowing up social media, IG, Facebook, you can find them on both platforms. So Xavier, tell me about POW. What does it stand for? Um, what's your signature? POW is pancakes, omelets, and waffles. And uh, we serve from your omelets, from the ham and cheese, the bacon and cheese. We have the seafood omelet, and we just introduced the shrimp omelet. And we have from that, going on to the chicken and waffles. We call it the cracking cluck. Okay, and we have the shrimp mania, which is a new favorite, my favorite personally. And I just introduced the sweet thang. You know, you're a sweet thang, she's a sweet thang, he's a sweet thang. And we introduced that with a nice, sweet, tangy barbecue sauce. So that is blowing up as well. Awesome. How did you come up with the idea of chicken and waffles? I know it's like big in the south, but like what made you bring it to the Bahamas? Well, I'm a big brunch fan, breakfast that is. And then I said, you know, food trucks are not as popular in the Bahamas. I wanted to bring something fresh, um, something inspirational, and a lot of the young persons, they love brunch. And I found that some of the elderly people love brunch too. And so I wanted to bring something more special here, and a small truck was the right fit, so I bought it. So with the food truck culture, it's like moving in different locations, so how can we find you? Like, what if I want POW today? How, how can I find you? If you want POW today, you will have to check our, our social media pages. So that's Instagram and Facebook, at POW Brunch. And then Facebook is also, you can put that in the search bar, at POW Brunch. So we announce where we're going to be every week okay. on our social media. So you stay to one spot for the week? No, we only pop up right now on Saturdays. Okay. And if we have a pop up like today is Sunday and we are invited out, we come as well. Okay, yeah. so what are we trying today? So today you will try our favorites. One will be the cracking clock, and then you will try the shrimp mania and the conky joe. Okay? Oh, it sounds delicious. The conk and the waffle. And what's your favorite? My favorite is shrimp mania. I do have a favorite, yeah. Thank you, Xavier. <laughs> It's always a good 
one bite. So I'm gonna try the conch and waffles first. And so it's little bits of conch, like crack conch. It's battered. It's so tender, so flavorful. The batter is not too heavy. Let's try the um, waffles. And just off the bat, the waffle is not like a crispy waffle. It's kind of fluffy and soft. Mmm, amazing. That sweet and savory combination I just absolutely love. And they put that powdered sugar on it. It's amazing. Not syrup. Okay, let's move on to shrimp. All right. So, from the shrimp to the conch, we notice that the shrimp is not so heavily battered. The waffle looks the same. It's nice and fluffy with that powdered sugar and glazed with that syrup. Oh my goodness. So Xavier said this was a favorite. It's my favorite too. I love the little crispiness on the shrimp, that saltiness mixed with the sweet of the, of the waffle. It's so delicious. All right. And then the classic, chicken. All right. So strips of chicken. It looks nice and crispy, a nice little light batter on it. A little different from the conch. Amazing. So one thing I really love about pow, and I just really love about chicken and waffles, is just pairing these two, mashing these two things that you don't think should go together, and it makes a wonderful, a delicious bite. A sweet waffle that's light and fluffy with the syrup and the, and the sugar powder, and then that crunchy, that savory, salty, sometimes spicy um, chicken, conch, and shrimp. And then, of course, we have to put that Bahamian twist on it with the conch. We can't leave conch out. So that crack conch, the little bites of conch, and that fluffy waffle is just divine. It's so delicious. So follow Pow on their Instagram and Facebook and check them out. You should definitely try it. A fantastic idea. Cone and a, I mean, conch and a cone? Like, how did you come up with this? Well, it was a long thought process. It was just trying to put a spin on our Bahamian classic favorite. And I just combined both, and it was it. Yeah. So, what's your favorite? My favorite would be a combination of the honey sriracha and the cocoa barbecue. Oh, so you can mix them? You can. Awesome. Okay. Well, maybe we'll try a conch and cone. Thank you, Nikita. You're welcome. Have it, guys, another great day with great food. Pow served us three delectable dishes of sweet and savory. The chicken, the conch, and the shrimp that was crispy and light battered. Um, maybe they're onto something. Maybe this is the start of a food truck culture and a mouthful is definitely here. You just had a mouthful with Dre. See you next time. Promotional consideration brought to you by the Bahamasweekly.com, Bahamaslocal.com, Bahamianornutton.com.